Okay, what we have here is a beautiful 11 Town Hall 11 3 star. Now this is on a ring type base. Now look at this guys, you see these, these is a, this is an old meta, this is against Buy Forever, yes, but old meta here. You probably see this in your wars a lot. And this is, um, yeah, this is obviously not the best base design, you know, we already know this, but gonna lure out the CC very easily with the giant, gonna kill it. Even if it was a hound, do the same sort of thing. Baby dragon over here uh, to clear out the archer tower and then just gonna kind of walk. You know, this is dangerous though. Now what you got here, a couple things. He's gonna charge into the inferno towers. Now why is this dangerous? Well, uh, <laughs> you can lose your queen very easily. Now how is he gonna help the queen out? Now look at this guys, he's bringing the grand warden out, usually typically on queen walks, and town hall 11 three stars. What you're going for, you usually put the warden with the queen and the reason for that is it helps her save her ability now look at this guys using triggering some bombs look at those loons perfectness here comes the warren ability with a rage then gonna pop the other ability to take down the other infernal tower now he's out of range of that one and there you go she's gonna continue walking on now look at that brilliant use now i will say because of all those loons and because of the giant, because of the baby dragons, the inf the EA is activated. Now, how can you get around that? Well, you could have he could have lost uh, um, if you wanted to lose a healer instead. That was definitely an option, um, or drop less loons. Um, you could have definitely tested that out on the EA activation if you wanted to to keep the queen walking a bit further, uh, so the EA was not activated. However, I mean it was going to be activated, uh, you know, eventually anyway. So uh, is it the end of the world? Probably not. And and definitely going to lose a couple healers here as well. So queen will fin eventually get down the air defenses. But the good thing is here, all he's got left is pretty much this inferno. Now where is he going to bring the low, low in? He's gonna go straight for the Inferno Tower. Now, that's where I would. Now, Richard, will he go for it? Who, well, no, he's gonna come from 12 o'clock. Look at that, oh man. Well, never mind, guys. You could have come from the Inferno side if you wanted. I mean, this is definitely an option to go straight into the Inferno Tower, but he is gonna come from uh, 12 o'clock. Um, I guess maybe to help the queen out, I, I will say that. I guess he wanted to keep the queen alive, and that's not a bad idea. Um, you know, I just saw that as I saw it here to keep the queen alive because she would have died out probably by herself because he didn't have a rage. He did have the ability, but no rage. So I guess he wanted the queen for the very end of this attack uh, to guarantee that, you know, with her ability, no matter what, she was going to be able to get down, down that in the uh, Inferno Tower. So probably that's the reason why it came from 12 o'clock. You could have come from uh, five, uh, six or seven o'clock as well for that Inferno. Uh, you would have obviously done a kam 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 kamikaze loon if possible to trigger red bombs, things like that, or put the hound in front of it. Either way, a brilliant attack on this base, taking it down very nicely. Richard showing us that these um, ring type bases, and I know you've seen this one, can be taken down. And uh, yeah, if you want to charge into Inferno Tower, um, if you're gonna if you're gonna face both Inferno Towers for a long period of time, he would have needed another freeze or something. Um, otherwise, he would have been in serious trouble. Uh, and yes, that is how you do it. That's how you do it. Unfortunately, he tried to go for the six pack, but was not able to get it done. Hopefully this video helped you out. We'll see you next time, my friends. Halo out.